Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lorenzo. Today I'm going to paint Alec Baldwin. The colors I'm going to use are Tachino White, Yellow Ochre, Cambium Red Cube, Ultramarine Blue, and Ivory Flag. Okay, let me first use a little bit of white just to see the limit. Here is somebody. Um, Maybe I gotta move my camera just a little bit to here. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be the section for mixing the colors here. I gotta move here. I have a bigger image to my left. I have this image, I have a bigger, bigger one here to my left. And I have the image in my computer. Okay, let me see. The center line first. It's gonna be around here. Hello, Steve. Good morning. And the lines for the line for the eyes gonna be around here. Start by mixing yellow ochre, red, a touch of blue, and I'm going to start just painting the shadows. I'm squinting my eyes, I'm gonna follow the shadows. I'm trying to see all this shape. If you see here in the center, center line, the shadow creates like a oblique line. This is the center line, the shadow creates this. Okay, now this is gonna be the eye. Now, following this eye, I'm gonna place the position of, first I see all this shape, okay? I don't see the eyebrow and the eye alone. I see this whole shape. Now, for the forehead, I see like a rectangle here. Mixing ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, and cambium red. This mixture is kind of easy to follow because I don't have too many. I don't. I don't have too many colors. Okay. 
I'm gonna change to this synthetic brush number zero. And adding ultramarine blue and coming red to make a darker color. Now another brush, number zero, and I'll mix another color, yellow ochre, camion red, white, and a touch of blue. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna I'll try to get the position of the sclera. Gotta go back with this color to draw again. I'm gonna paint the highlight on this eye. And from here, I'm gonna paint the highlight on the nose, the highlight on the lip. Okay. I'm gonna paint okay, to all this portion. Get the ochre, cadmium red, white, and a touch of blue. Okay, I think I added too much blue. That's okay. about uh, 
trying to see like a caricature of his expression. Something that was, I'm just thinking about this. I'm watching this, this, and this. Okay. Uh, that's. I mean, sometimes I do that when I uh, when I uh, uh, I have so, uh, somebody that has a special like expression, something like it's very very particular about the person, and I exaggerate this just in order to capture. They say let's say the essence or the likeness, the expression, the soul, whatever you wanna call it. The annoying thing is uh, his mouth is like this. Hello, Lori. Good morning. Hello, Ahmed. Okay. My color is kind of yellowish, but that's okay. I just want to maybe, I was thinking to go a little bit uh, higher with the chroma. More intense, make more intense skin color. Now that I see this and I see kind of, of caricature of the of the, the, the image, and that means I'm doing okay. Now I'm gonna go back to draw the eyes again. Thinking about just this and thinking about this. Always looking for simple shapes, like the nose is like a, a V. I'm going to gray down this color, the skin color a little bit more, a little bit of black. To go all around the face, because this color is too much. I mean, uh, you try to keep, uh, uh, but I'm trying always to keep, let's say the colors around the face. A little bit gray, grayer, or let's say uh, butte, and the colors, let's say here, it could be more warmer, and, it, and I can go even warmer on the nose. Okay. You see, like, it's like a, it's an order, okay? Warmer, less warmer, less warmer. But you can be gray, grayer, Less grayer and warmer. Yes, it's, it's not about going to the warm or cool side. It's just about going to the gray side. This way, uh, the idea is always um, bring the nose close to us. Okay, the nose, this, and this, uh, this portion where is okay. That exaggerate a little bit the effect of uh, the volume. If I could do even this, if I want to exaggerate that, 
It depends on the, on the subject. It depends on what you see. Because it's kind of clear here that you see, I see, I was thinking about this, okay? I see a uh, light here, okay? And I see a light here. Definitely, this light is not gonna be the same intensity. It doesn't matter if I see that this light is the same. I'm not gonna follow that. I'm not gonna, it's like a, I'm not, I'm not going to trust my eyes about that, okay? If I follow this, like, I think this is the highlight and this is the same intensity, that's gonna be a mistake. And even, and even that I see that, I see kind of close, this, 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 kind of, kind of close that makes me believe there is some reflected light from here. And I'm kind of exaggerating, of course, because I'm saying it's kind of close. Definitely it's not that close that but if you get uh, that confused, you gotta think always that uh, everything that is going is coming close to you is gonna be uh, more colorful. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna have more contrast, and even the highlights it could be more lighter and warmer. Yeah, but this is something for, let's say, the, the ending. Um, I, just, I wanted to explain because that's something that I was thinking about just right now. Oh, hello, John. See that this color is different than this color. Here you can see the mixture. I added more blue here. Right now, uh, you can see now that here is light, uh, there is more light and here is shadow. And don't compare with the image. Thinking about this, I can feel that this is kind of a roundness because just what I explained at the beginning. I mean, you can see this here, kind of warmer, less warmer and more gray. This is, this one is like here, yes? And the other one is gonna be like around here and this one is gonna be for the highlights. That's why I, I always try to watch uh, very carefully uh, the palettes of the painters. The painter's palette, because there is where, where I, uh, I got more information about how they mix the colors and all of that. It's not just about uh, watching, okay, this is an amazing color. It, it has mixing this and this and this. This is not the information that I want. I want the logic about uh, how the painter grayed down the colors, how a painter works with gray colors, with warmer colors, with saturated colors, all of that. It's not about thinking, oh, I want the orange. That's amazing orange, that's an amazing value. No, no that's, not, that's not important, okay? That's the problem uh, that uh, from so many times at the beginning, for me, it was about thinking about that. It was about thinking, I want to get that amazing color. It's not about mixing the colors. It's just about the harmony. Colors don't, don't live alone. They live together with other 
with so many colors and that the, that interaction is that something that we want to control we want to master that interaction that uh, that's color harmony I'm trying to copy this I just watching this you see this shadow here it's like full of this. Okay, now I go to the other eye. I'm working with two brushes. Remember, for me, I just thinking about these brushes like they they are two pencils. One is dark, one is lighter, and I I change this because I add more black and I have like a darker pencil. Okay. Oh, hello, Linda. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Now that I have this, I can think about, I'm going to just paint make a difference because uh, the skin is not just one color it's not gonna be like the photograph is just one color I'm gonna have some reddish parts on the face uh, I do this first because uh, later I'm gonna apply more paint more paint and you're gonna you're not gonna see this as clear uh, as it is now. So with the same, okay? Upper and lower eyelid, the cheeks, the chin. And of course, I'm in the nose and of course the lips. There is a reflection here. Now I can play with that reflection and I can add any color that I want. I always look for, um, usually, a uh, cool color because I want to create contrast. Yes. I have a little bit of cobalt blue here. I use this cobalt blue. In the process, uh, you're going to see that uh, this is going to be subtle, or maybe not, but the reds are going to be subtle. Okay, just kind of, uh, how do you say, blocking blocking in the drawing, blocking in the, the shapes, uh, the form, and even the colors. Okay. 
ओके तो मैं ट्राई टू गेट दिस आई आई बीन लिव इन दिस आई फॉर अ व्हाइल बिकॉज़ नाउ आई कैन सी हिज फेस was kind of a car- caricature of his face and the position of this eye is kind of tricky mm. okay maybe still anyway i need to see more in order to make more corrections okay. and i use this blue and i add a little bit of yellow ochre no i mean I, I'm going to use this green. I'm getting the brush. I'm just going to use black and white. Because of the contrast, you're going to see this black and white like a kind of a bluish gray color. Maybe because of the contrast, it's, it's kind of it's with this between. I mean, it's in the middle of warmer colors. I'm going to clean my my brush <clears throat> again. I'm picking up black and white, not too much because I just want this color to get to get mixed here. now about how much paint are you going to apply to the to the portrait I, i cannot start with this amount of paint when i'm painting and drawing and mapping out the colors and doing all of that now i can think about the amount of paint if i want to apply something like this or less or whatever you want okay And this thing for for me, this is uh, about applying more paint or less paint. It's just sometimes I just don't want too much paint, and sometimes just I feel that I don't know maybe, uh, but I, I don't know even how to explain it because it's just something about maybe my my mood. But uh, one thing definitely, when I paint, usually women. I don't apply too much in pasto, too much thick paint, because uh, usually want a soft uh, surface. And when I paint men, or if I paint a older, a older person, that's a great opportunity for me to apply apply more paint. Okay. I'm thinking of stepping back a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. 
I'm going to use another brush. I'm going to keep that brush for that corner. Okay, don't care. And I'm playing this uh, to the highlights. Okay. Well, hello, Michael. Do you use a camera or phone? I use a webcam. It's in, just in front of me because sometimes that's why sometimes I hit the camera with my head. <laughs> sometimes you see that the camera just moves a little bit. It's me hitting the camera with my head because it's just in, it's here. The camera is just here, and I I am behind the camera. Okay, now let's again working on the drawing. Kind of I have the position of the eyes. Okay, and. Now let's make more details. Okay. Oh, hello, Parshuran. Okay. Can you show us your camera setup? Uh, camera setup, like uh, my camera setup, like the web webcam camera setup, or about my how I, where is the position of my camera and all of that. Okay, I will try to make take a photo. Let me show you that. Okay, let's go again with that. I mean, not now, because <laughs> right now. I'm... Right now, it's kind of difficult. I'm going to place, uh, like, like here, I did the highlight. I'm going to make the highlight here. I'm going to add another color to my palette. I'm going to add at least a little crimson. Okay, I'm going a little bit reddish, you see, but it's, I'm not going to go with this reddish color all the way, all the way up here. It's just going to be here. Think about the nose in two portions, okay? So it's going to be reddish, and here is a combination between some reddish and greenish color.
I'm mixing ultramarine blue, a little bit of camion red, yellow, and a touch of black. I'm mixing the same color, just making more, more paint, more quantity. Now you're gonna see that this red that I, apply, I have applied before, it's kind of it's going to disappear, but I, I, I'm still going to see a little bit of that. So I prefer anyway to apply it first in this way, because I know in my process, I'm starting to study more paint and my mixture is kind of simple. That's why I, I do this in order just to keep those colors there but then that means that uh, you can just add those reddish later. Even you can let, it, let the painting dry and add those reds, some reddish colors with um, using a glaze. Okay, and I'm playing a glaze, and that's gonna it's gonna be more. You're gonna have more control. Paint the hair. Now I'm going to work with a darker color. And again, I go again working on the on the eyes.
You can see the reflection here. I was thinking maybe I can add some orange. There, I mean, and it's not gonna be the same value, obviously, but it's gonna be more, uh, more saturated color. Or maybe you can do the same, a, a light blue here. Trying to think of something that making the painting more interesting. Maybe it's not gonna work, but who knows? We need to try. Uh, this is cobalt blue, this is cerulean blue. The thing is, this is, it doesn't have to be uh, lighter than this. But I see this, you, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, there is a link to the image in the description box. Okay. Let's do it anyway. If it doesn't work, I take my palette knife and I clean this up. I clean this out. Okay, definitely, I think I don't like that. Mm, no, it doesn't like Maybe I can add some. Maybe I can add more. Oh, okay, I'm gonna use another yellow. I have yellow oak, yellow chrome, chrome yellow hue. See how it works. Maybe it could work. Maybe, maybe, who knows? I, mean, I gotta think now about the background. It's not gonna be just living just like that. Doesn't look okay by now. I still need work. I mean, I have to adjust the color. It's not gonna be just like that. Maybe you can make a. Uh, we can just tone down the color a lot. Let's see. Continue working on the eyes. Thank you. 
Hello, uh, hello, Cornelia. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Prashuna. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's continue thinking. Okay. Mm. Still need to work on the eyes. Torturan, do you see each shape separately? Uh, yes, yes, that's, I'm trying from the beginning to the end. Uh, it's like uh, zooming in and out. I just see the whole painting. I, I see the same way that I, uh, I block in at the beginning. I apply the same to each portion of the face. One eye, the nose, the mouth. And always thinking about what I said in other videos. I'm not doing this in this video about this triangle here, triangle here. I keep that in mind all the time. In some videos, I make that more visible, my explanation. And, and some, I just get more cut, the shape, on the color or uh, on the structure on the likeness. But if you see the other videos, you're gonna see that on some of them I have repeat so many times this thing about this triangle. I mean, I, I, I just love to see triangles everywhere. Here, mainly this one, yes? And this, this one here, here, all of that is always the same. Yeah, I go out to the street and I see triangles everywhere. Need to zoom in the image here in my computer.
You know that uh, I've not worked that much from this image. I work from an image that I have to my left, that's a bigger one. And sometimes I have the image in my cell phone, uh, not usually in my cell phone, but sometimes, I mean, a few times in my cell phone. And I work more from the image in my screen, which is obviously bigger. There's a reflection here. Maybe we can just add this same blue. See, that was too much. Okay, anyway, I'm, not, I'm going to leave it there for now. Okay, maybe I can do the same. I mean, if the light is coming, a, a blue light is coming from here, it's gonna hit here. Definitely it's gonna hit the whole nose a little bit here. And here too. Here and where is the Let me see the image. Okay, definitely. I'm gonna fix the shape of the nose. That is something that is kind of annoying me a little bit. Have the link to the image in the description box. This way you can see clearly what I'm telling you about these reflections. I have a black and white image too. I mean, definitely you need a black and white image. I haven't printed that. I mean, I'm gonna print for the next one maybe to show you all I got.
remember the nose always is a little bit reddish if you if you're applying more more and more paint and you're starting to lose that red those red colors on the nose uh, you gotta add them again that's what i'm doing now And now if you want to go, let's say, uh, more careful with color theory, always remember that if you add more warmer colors to the nose, let's say down here, you cannot add the same color, okay? You're going to grade down that color. You mix with some green, blue, uh, gray, whatever you want, but you got to grade down the color. In this way, the, the nose... The idea is making the nose just to pumping out a little bit. Even that slightly difference in the color is going to help us. Even just sometimes it's not even noticeable, but you want to just to follow those rules that we sometimes we follow to the extreme, and sometimes we just don't. It's up to you. But all of that works uh, to enhance uh, the volume, okay? It's not gonna be just in one or two brush strokes. It's something that you have to add more and more paint until you feel that uh, the chroma, the intensity of is 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 the correct. As for me, sometimes I go to the yellow side, to the warmer side, just usually here, just here is to make the lips uh, to come forward to us a little bit. Okay. Uh, maybe you, you can try to, can you can exaggerate this and try to see the, 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 that effect. Okay, but definitely this yellowish color, it has to be a little more, more stronger than, than, let's say, here. If you add the same, I mean, it's not going to be okay. Here you can just make a slight variation. It's going to be lighter. But it doesn't have, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be... It's not... It, I mean, it doesn't have to... to uh, I don't know how to say it. If, if this one has to be more intense than this one. And that intensity is not, it's not about value. It could be the same value, but this color has to be more, uh, it needs to have more chroma, more, it needs to be more, uh, have to be more sat saturation, okay? Sorry about that, I mean, I got so confused. I'm trying to explain this. Maybe I should have stayed quiet eh? in silence. I'm just painting. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use a brand new number zero brush. The first thing is, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is just apply this oh, highlight here. And hide it here. Okay. 
Okay. Then a little bit of reflection here on the iris. I don't know if the light is coming from here, from this direction. The reflection on the iris is going to be the opposite side here. It's not going to be because the iris is something that's like this is concave. So this iris is kind of a square. square. I'm gonna fix this. Okay, you still see uh, from the beginning when I said that I was trying to thinking about him like a uh, a caricature of his face. You can see this the eyebrow, how exaggerated is this the shape of the eyebrow. Now I have to let's say put it a little bit a little bit down and less darker just to make it more natural. Okay, that's better. Now let's add some blue here to break down this color. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Or this list. Work. One other thing, uh, if the highlight is here, definitely you cannot do this. Like, let's say this, you go like this, and you go like this. Okay. You cannot go like do the same here. Or you can clean out the brush and then go here. And by doing this, it's going to get mixed. And the intensity, the, int the intensity of this color is going to be this. It's not going to be the same here. That's the idea. Okay. At the beginning, I. I I apply the same color, like dun, dun, here, 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 but that's at the beginning. At the beginning, it's just about, for me, I'm just thinking, uh, I'm not thinking about a lot of values. I don't even see, like, I simplified the form into simple geometrical shapes. I simplified the color into simple uh, values. And then I, I go little by little just, Building, building that just step by step. Everything, I mean, the likeness, the color, shapes, form. But you, you can, you can say that everything, everything is a start just uh, working together, because when you think about values, you gotta think about color, and when you think about color, you gotta think about temperature, always. Okay, even a little bit, I mean, that little change about color temperature is gonna help us maybe just even just a little bit, it's gonna be something. That's why so many painters sometimes use uh, some, let's say some, uh, a lot of colors, like 20, 40 colors, but they are, they are hoping maybe that one of those pigments is gonna give a little bit more to the painting, even almost nothing, but that's what we want. But uh, let's say that you're a beginner, you don't need to worry about that, okay? You don't need to, to worry about buying a, a lot of fancy colors. 
a lot of, I don't know, when you, with these colors, you're gonna have enough to work, okay? If you're an advanced, I mean, you definitely you have like maybe 50, 50, 60 tubes of paints, yes? I'm pretty sure because that, I mean, um, I don't have that much, but I have at least my box here, I have like uh, 40 colors, you see? That I doesn't, doesn't mean that I'm gonna use all of them in the portrait, I mean, that's not necessary. But sometimes uh, they say I use a uh, cover blue or cover violet. I have a cover violet that sometimes I apply in the shadows like a glaze. Not always, it depends on the color that is beneath. But sometimes the glaze, the, that color is so transparent that that's amazing. The glaze, the, the result is really amazing. But not always, I mean, that changes depending on the portrait, depending on the skin color, depending on the shadow is, is dark enough or not. Okay, okay. Hello, Linda. Okay. Oh, you want me to, to continue speaking? <laughs> okay. And I was planning to speak less. I zoom in the image to see more details.
the more I see this yellow, I don't like the yellow. Well, maybe I will try, maybe we soon will find it. I don't know, I don't know. The only way I'm thinking uh, to keep the yellow here is I go maybe with some ochre to the background here. Some blue here, some ochre here, some yellow ochre, and maybe that's going to help uh, to keep the color there. By contrast, yes? If you don't, don't want a color that looks that, that intense, you put the same color, like really close, the same, close to the same color, really close, and uh, automatically it's going to just, by contrast, uh, you're going to see less of this. But let's see. Let's try. Let's see what happened. Definitely, I'm going to change this. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to try this. You can see how this yellow, you don't, you don't see this, this yellow anymore. <laughs> because there is a strong yellow here. Anyway, I'm going to follow a simple rule. Simple rule is if there's light here, it's shadow in the background. That means light, dark, dark, light. That's a simple rule. You don't even have to think about that. It's just written on the book. Okay, now, now from here you can, even if, if you want, you can even exaggerate the chromatic, the, the intensity of the colors, because it's kind of easy to go with more reddish, with more greens, more yellow ochre. I mean, it's up to you, I mean, how do you go, how far do you go with changing the color, okay? You can mute the color, I mean, It's up to us. I mean, it's always up to us. Yeah? What I'm trying to say is that it's not about copying the image. It's about uh, what you decide to do. You can go with more saturated colors or less saturated colors. And that's what I was trying to say. Because for to do that, you don't you're not gonna copy the image. I mean, the image is not gonna give you that information. The image is not gonna give you if you're gonna go more green or red or, or add more orange.
Do you see this uh, pink? That's what I'm talking about. I can go even with more red. I'm gonna mix this cerulean blue with cobalt blue and white. More white. Uh, here, for example, is you can go with more white, more white, more white, or you can go with white and with cerulean blue. That means that at the same time you you are you, you light, light up the color, you add more more chroma, which make make uh, makes makes a difference. Well, at the same time you just can just go with white and make la, a gradation. Yeah. Uh, so it's different. As you see here, this little thing is it's not just about adding white. I add white and more so than blue. That makes that light, a little light, a little bit uh, stronger. I mean, is that, is that what you want? I mean, yes. Sometimes we don't want that. And then if we, if I don't want that, I can go just with, uh, let's say, a uh, cobalt blue and add more white, 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 white. And that's it. That's, that, that's going to be enough. I need to see the, a bigger image to make this here. Yeah. You gotta know when you are gonna light up a color just by 
just adding white or adding white and a saturated ver version of that color. And at the same time, I mean, and you gotta see where you, you're putting the color, yes, because this color is different here because it's uh, surrounded by these warmer colors, which is making the blue different. It's not gonna work, it's not going to work in every condition. It's just like this. To add more yellow to the white, you're gonna get you're gonna get a brighter highlight. But sometimes I don't want that, and I don't add yellow, just white, because I want my painting to be kind of opaque. Definitely, we have so many options, and it depends what we want. That would be the color theory uh, part of painting a portrait. The other part is just getting, uh, you have to, uh, I mean, I have to try to separate this in my head because I, I cannot deal with uh, thinking about if this guy looks like him or not and thinking about uh, if this color is, it should be warmer than this one or cooler or grayer or all of that when the face is, is not going okay. And then uh, when I'm thinking about the drawing aspect, I'm thinking about triangular shape, all of that, and don't think about color at all. It's like I just go like a, in a black and white mode, simple shapes. And then, then I change to see ch uh, color theory. And then I think about that. I mean, for me, that's the only way it works. But you gotta keep all of that color, values, proportions, and you need to give to each part of that its own space. That's what I say. That's that's the reason that I said that I use this like a, a black pencil and a lighter pencil because I'm thinking just about pencil is thinking about not it's not thinking about color. It's just thinking about values and about uh, corrections and drawing. I'm not saying I have this for cooler colors or lighter colors. I hope you you got the idea. Let's continue. Right now, I'm just thinking about the likeness. I'm using pure, pure black.
Okay. And now uh, I go with pure black on the pupil, the pupil, but I don't go with this pure black to make uh, just here this, the control here, the, uh, the uh, upper eyelid, because I don't want that. That would be, in this case, that would be too dark and that's going to add um, some hardness. And I want the eyes to be soft. Even here it's too dark, but you can see. I have to just blend this, soft this. Even if, if I see that it's black in the image, because you can see the image, the, the photo, it, it looks really black here, yeah? really dark. I don't want to follow, I don't want to follow that. Okay, because I mean, at the end, you're gonna see the painting alone. When I show the painting in my Instagram account or the video, you're gonna see this. It has to work alone. I'm not gonna show this. Okay, look at that. This, and it should be natural. I mean, it should. It should be a lot of things. But it's, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not like that always, yeah? I don't want too much paint, it will take.
and using pure aluminum crimson, it looks really dark. Or it's not black. I think this blue is too much. Kind of, I like it, but it's kind of al alone there. Mm. I think I'm going to turn down this. I don't know why I'm Okay. We can continue working on the face and the eyes and the features. Then I, I, I will think about the colors again. Thank <laughs> you. 
has something here. Let's see the background here on this on the left side of the face. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, linseed oil. So this brush was clean. Too much white, I think. Okay, I'll add a little bit of black. Just here, uh, the color. Here's the uh, suit. Now we just work on this yellow here. Kind of, I uh, don't like that yellow, but let's see what happened. I mean, I added this yellow here because I want to add a little bit of yellow here. It's like a light, let's, let's say, uh, uh, behind him. Okay. Anyway, I don't like that I'm not much to put that color, but I'm going to tone down the color a little bit. I'm gonna use this brush to have some pink. And okay, put the image again. Thinking, thinking. Okay. 
Okay, where I was. Okay. I was thinking that. Oh, I was working with. I, I get. I got distracted because I see uh, the. Oui, I see the the year. I got this work on this year.
Oh, Laurie McKee. Oh. He looks a little bit older in the painting. Okay, let me check out. Hello, Joyce. Okay, yes. He should be working. Uh, you know, I mean, somebody told me the same, that he, uh, she didn't get the notifications. I don't know why. She told me that she just hit everything, the bell notifications, like, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, okay, let's think about uh, the line sculptor about his age. Let's see if I can get his age. Okay. I'm thinking what to zoom right now. I mean, when, uh, about the age is all, always about maybe some line expressions like this or this or here. Okay. If I uh, overdo that, definitely it's going to look older. The only way is just to do this. I mean, I see these details in the image. If you use the link, it's a link in the description box. I don't see these details here because here is kind of it's too small. I gotta follow both. Uh, another thing, this um, back, uh, this back eye is, is maybe it's too sharp. I have to soft this. Thank you, Lori, because you made me think about all of these things. I mean, I, I, because of that, I just see this. I saw this, and I, and I saw this, but I, it was too sharp. Now it's softer.
Oh, I think that's too much. Okay. I don't like the green. I thought I was going to be okay with green, I think. <clears throat> Let's see. That's good. Because I, I, I was getting distracted by by, by the green.
I don't know, I see something wrong around here. It's like uh, the width of the face is no, it's not okay. Could be here, not so sure. Or could be here. Mm. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting to the point that I mean, I don't know what to what to fix, I don't know where, how to find more mistakes because it's kind of a process of fixing from the beginning to the end. We could say that, yes, because at the beginning it doesn't have any form. And now that that has some form, uh, we are able to see and to compare and see what is wrong. But sometimes just because um, we get tired and all of that. Okay, I'm forgetting to use. Uh, I'm gonna capture the an image. I'm gonna use Photoshop. I'm gonna flip up the image and see what is wrong. Because I mean, that's something that we must do. We have to use Photoshop or we have to use a mirror, anything or any application on your phone that. Uh, for you to be able to reverse the image, to put it up, upside down and do all of those things, take out the color and compare. I'm doing that right now. See what is wrong. We reverse the image. That would be the same as using a mirror, yeah? Kind of okay, but I kind of I see I see here. I mean, I'm pretty sure the width is not okay. I'm afraid to move anything here. Watch both. I'm comparing both now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just about, oh man, let me, let me see. Maybe I need to add a little bit of light here because this shadow is maybe it's too dark. There's sometimes the mistakes are about values because that kind of a shadow can kind of reduce this and make it look, look like it was, the width is wrong. I don't know if that's gonna fix something or not. But definitely helps. Okay. You need to have a mirror a mirror with you all the time. Well, nowadays nowadays an application, yeah? Something that they you. I mean, I haven't used my phone for, for this. I always use it, Adobe Photoshop. But I'm pretty sure there are some applications. Okay, what else, what else?
Now I'm using a little bit of linseed oil. Maybe the hair is gonna make him look look younger. Right now I'm working watching uh, the image in my computer, which is in reverse. That means I'm, I'm working like uh, I was holding a mirror. Maybe the jawline, okay, maybe it could be, yes. Yeah, I'm thinking, um, I mean, I'm watching this, I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about, um, make more light here to make the jaw like more, just by making more, the height, change the height, but not changing the height, changing the, the, the lighting. I mean, it's gonna be light, light up this part. Hoping that that's gonna fix. Mm -hmm. I'm going to soft this. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking about this. Maybe this shadow is go down a little bit. And a little bit down. Okay. By changing the va values, I'm trying to change uh, the the width width of the face more lighter I, I have reduced a little bit here
<laughs> Stepping back just a little bit to see what is wrong. Getting close to the end because I don't know what what is to do. I just uh, I have done everything and I don't know. Mm -hmm. Squinting my eyes a lot, trying to see what what is missing, what I'm missing. <clears throat> Thank you, Eliana. Okay. If you see something that I don't I don't I don't I don't able to see anymore. Just let me know, please, maybe any major mistake. Because at, at some point we need always some critique. Okay, that's okay. Sometimes uh, my wife is the one that sometimes is, I'm just, let's say I'm painting like three hours, four hours, and then she came to me and she said something like, oh, the ear is too big. And just at all of a sudden, I see the ear, it definitely is too big. And, and for me, it was kind of, uh, I haven't watched that. I have. Sometimes we need that. Or if we paint alone, we need to take a rest, okay? I think I'm going to put down, turn down this blue a little bit. Just a little bit. I kind of, I love this blue, but at the same time, it's maybe too much. Usually, when you have some a color like this, that is strong, uh, if you put more of that color all around, it's gonna be okay. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be the solution. But in this case, I don't wanna go with too much blue all around. I'm choosing just to tone down that little bit. Oh, Michael, you used to your wife too. Yes, <laughs> yeah, wife. They used to. They just love to tell us that our mistakes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I, I don't see uh, his eye, his uh, ear so clear. Not even in the, the computer. I don't know why he has kind of something that I'm not able to, to copy. Uh, take a look of, of uh, uh, on his ear. Don't know the image and take a look on his ear. It's something, I mean, this. I'm not gonna copy the ear because it's something like, a, it doesn't look natural, even in the original image. more minutes I think I'm trying to control this I, I don't want I, I want this shadow this uh, but I don't want that this dark okay. and then that's for me that I go like 
uh, adjusting little by little. Because, I mean, it's almost better the contrast, but I don't want to get to this contrast, okay? Always uh, I try to keep all the attention on the eyes here. I'm trying, I mean, sometimes uh, it's not possible to do it, but I'm trying, that's why uh, I don't go with, uh, usually I blend a little bit the, the jaw here, and I don't go really dark with the shadows. I always keep that, trying to keep that, don't go too dark with this. And I blend the hair. In this way, I just keep the, the tension here. Okay, hello, Trevor Linda. Could you be the neck and third on under his left ear? Here? Or, or his left, that would be here. Yes, maybe. Uh, but, uh, 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 thank you, but I don't think that this is gonna change the likeness. <laughs> but anyway, thank you anyway. Oh, thank you, John. Oh, thank you, Mervat. Yes, I mean, we are trying to improve to study and to paint all the time. That's why my paintings for a year, uh, hopefully, are different. I mean, hopefully, now I'm better. <laughs> I hope so. That's why I'm, that's why I'm practicing a lot. Oh no! Oh, he, I, I see this shadow here. This little dark. I'm gonna just soften this. Okay. Okay. I think that's it. Thank you so much for being here with me. And if you see any mistake, just let me know right now. <laughs> Because I'm not able to see anymore. Uh, I, I don't even know what to look for. I, I already reversed the image. I did all of that. It's not like I want to be 100% perfect. Anyway, I mean, any major mistake that usually we, we make, we have mistakes. I think some people just tell me that this is telling me that it's okay. That means that I should be stopped worrying about this. Goodbye, Michael. Thank you for being here. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Okay, take care. See you tomorrow. I think that's it. Okay, you can go now. <laughs> I'm gonna be here just for a few minutes.
Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. <laughs> that's right, Michael. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.